If I were allowed just one filter to have in my camera bag, then I'd have this one. Which one is it and why? Find out next. Black Mist, Neutral Density, Circular Polarizer, Ultraviolet. Well, for those who don't know anything about photography filters, it probably sounds more like I'm calling horses for the Melbourne Cup or the Kentucky Derby. Recently, I did a review on the Hyder Nanopro ND filter kit, and after that video, I got a lot of messages from photography beginners who needed some help and guidance as to which filter or filters they should buy. I understood their need for help because when starting out in photography, it can be so confusing with filters. There are so many filters on the market nowadays, where in the world should you start? The most common filters I use when I'm doing landscape photography are neutral density and polarizing filters. And sometimes I actually have to stack those to get the desired effect I'm chasing. Well, today I wanna to show you this. This is the new Hyder Pro 2 Circular Polarizer and Variable ND 2-in-1 filter. It's a very versatile filter and you can use it in a heap of different scenarios, such as. Okay, so here we are at scenario number one. And what I've done is I've put the filter on the front of my 14 to 30 millimeter lens with the Nikon Z7 here, and I'm shooting into water. The best way I can describe it is at the moment, and what you're seeing, I'm recording this in video, you can see the reflections really badly from the trees in the water, but sometimes you don't want to get that. You want to just be able to go through the water and you want to be able to see the rocks underneath. Very simply, on the front of the hider filter, you just twist. And look at that. Automatically, all that glare has now gone straight off the water. I can now see through the water quite well. So this would come in really handy if you're in a stream and you're wanting to film those rocks in the foreground while getting a background of something like mountains, but you really want to see that clear water in the foreground. That's where you could use this filter and that type of scenario. Let's go on to scenario number two. Okay, so here I am at scenario number two, and what I'm going to be doing is a long exposure sunset, utilizing the variable ND aspect of this filter. So now the great thing about this filter, even though it's a two-in-one filter, you don't have to necessarily use the circular polarizer aspect to it. So with the filter you get three stops to seven stops of neutral density. It's displayed very clearly. You can see as you push the little indicator around, it goes three, four, five, six, and seven. What I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more. I've already got my frame. I've got this grass in the foreground, the tree to the left. And yeah, as soon as it gets a little bit darker, I'll be able to get a long exposure and hopefully get some nice cloud trails in the sky. So here we are at scenario number three, and this is where I think this filter would really shine. Waterfall photography. Now I found this cute little waterfall, and I've got the Z7, I'm at 14 millimeters on the 14 to 30 millimeter lens. So what I've done is I'm utilizing both aspects of this filter now. I'm using the circular polarizer to cut through some of the glare that I can see off the water and off the rocks, as well as I've introduced three stops of ND just to give me that nice bit of ghosting through the water. So the settings I've got, I'm at ISO 100, F8, and I'm shooting just over one second. The thing I love about this shot at the moment, I've just got this nice stream of sunlight coming through and hitting in the foreground. There's actually a little tiny leaf sitting on this rock here. I'm actually gonna leave that. I'm not gonna Photoshop it out. I think it really adds to the whole image. Let's get the shot. And a two second timer release so I don't get any shake. Here's our shot. So there you go, there's three scenarios in which you can use that Hyder Pro 2 Circular Polarizer Variable ND 2-in-1 filter. To get the most out of a circular polarizer is to make sure that you're on a 90 degree aspect to your sun. At the moment, I'm recording through the Z7. So what I like to do is introduce a little bit of polarization and you'll see the sky at the top there just starting to get a little bit deeper. And those clouds, 
that are just coming in on the right hand side there are starting to get a little bit more defined. Now some people can go really crazy with circular polarizers and introduce a lot of polarization. It just makes the sky look too surrealistic. Whatever floats your boat, but I don't like to do that. I like to just introduce a little bit of polarization, something like about there is what I would normally go for in a shot. The filter comes well packaged and includes its own protective case that you can easily fit into your camera bag. It comes in thread sizes 67, 77 and 82 millimeters. And remember, Hyder also sells slimline step up rings if you ever need them. Happy to report with this filter, even widest on my lens at 14 millimeters, there was no vignetting or filter clipping in the corners. Personally, I think this is gonna become my new go-to filter when it comes to waterfall photography, just for the pure fact that it's got that circular polarizer and variable ND all built into one. So if you're a beginner to photography and want just one filter that'll cover you for a heap of different situations, or you just don't want the hassle of having to continually stack different filters on top of one another, then I suggest you have a look at this Hyder filter. I've left some links for you in the description box below to go and check out more on this filter. Thank you so much for watching, never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.